So Braden is a uh, athletic shortstop, and I love that he's, even though he's a college guy, I think he has high upside based on the loose, wiry frame that he has. So we think he's going to put on some strength. Uh, we think he's going to get to some more power, and he's really good at the position, above average to plus defender. And what people don't know is this guy could actually run. He's definitely an above average runner. So I think it's a nice package of upside, athleticism, and power coming down the road for this young man. Maybe just showing the swing, how long the bat stays in the zone, flat, nice and like Tettleton they compared them to. Yeah, and uh, that was one of the things we liked because he can drive the ball to the opposite field. Uh, he can pull the ball. He's got a little power. Uh, he can play the small game because he can run. And he's a big man. He's actually like six three and a half, six four. So, uh, and that upside is very intriguing. And the fact that he's a shortstop uh, that makes him even more intriguing. So we're excited about him. When you look at the system, was shortstop a position? particularly you want to address in this draft? Well, it's good to get some position players. You know, uh, the strength of the draft is the college position players this year. As you may see, like, there's not many high school arms going. There were some college position players that were good. But the strength of the draft was, high school, was college position players. And, uh, you know, a guy like this we're excited to have. And, you know, we, we don't draft based on uh, the system and what we have, but he was the best player on the board when we selected him. And we feel excited that uh, we got this guy. We got a chance to hit at the top of the lineup because he can run and play shortstop. So it's, uh, we're, we're really excited. How would you grade him out defensively? So I would grade him out at least above average with a chance to be plus. And uh, he definitely has an above average arm. And he's got that loose, wiry, athletic frame. I saw him about five times. I saw him come in on the ball. I saw him go in the hole. I saw him go up the middle. So the value of seeing him five times, I think, really helped me out. Uh, so that, was, that, was make, that, that really got me over the, the, the hill with, the, with him. That's it. And if he can play short, then obviously if you keep him, he could move somewhere else if he wanted to. Play. Yeah, the other thing is the downside would be that the guy, and we call it a downside, but I think it's actually valuable also, because this guy could be a utility guy. You know, this guy, he, on, a USA, on a USA team in the summer, you know, he could play third base, he could play second base, he could play first base if you need him because he's so big. Uh, so that gives a big league manager uh, 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 some value, you know, because he's so versatile. So this young man is a pretty good package. I think we're going to be very excited about him. Has it become more important to draft potential versatility over the last few years? Yeah, well, versatility definitely has value uh, because it gives the manager flexibility, especially in the National League, where you have so many changes late in the game. Uh, so this guy is definitely one of those instinctive players with good makeup and high upside. And uh, as I said, we're very excited.